is the Vatican's secret plan for welcoming in an alien god with a small g. These powers and principalities that Paul writes about in Ephesians 6, these, these demonic forces. One of my biggest concerns and primary purposes in my ministry is to make sure that you are not deceived. They, they came, came to, to Jesus, Jesus, tell, tell us, when, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. The Bible says that angels came down and mated with women in Genesis chapter 6. And Jesus said it's going to happen again. The UFO phenomena is not some kind of weird uh, illusion. It is real. And the illusion is going to be that they are going to be our saviors. Check this out. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Basically, what that's saying is that there's going to be another Christ coming, another Savior coming, another God down from the heavens coming to replace Jesus, to replace Christianity. And that's what this whole UFO thing is about. Check it out. It's the Vatican's secret plan for welcoming in an alien God with a small G. These powers and principalities that Paul writes about in Ephesians 6, these, these demonic forces. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. These powers and principality, these, these demonic forces, have seeded this idea into the world. So we are primed and ready for a deception. Okay, but what, what makes you think the Vatican has planned to announce this? Well, you know, they're having astrobiology conferences. They, they've made it intellectually virtuous to believe in these extraterrestrials. Their writings coming out of their theologians have pretty much made the argument that if you don't believe and extraterrestrials, then that is actually the heresy. You talk about uh, that the Vatican is going to reevaluate their position on basic Christianity. What do you mean by that? Well, their theologians have written that they think that these entities will be evangelizing us, that they think that these entities will be evangelizing us, so that we would have to modify our beliefs according to their revelation. Uh, we also got access to top astronomers that work in Rome, including um, an astronomer by the name of Guy Cosmonaldo. He's one of the top astronomers for the Vatican. What, what was the major thing you got from your interview with him? Oh, well, two major things. One, uh, he says um, without apology that very soon the nations of the world are going to look to the aliens for their salvation. The, the idea that we are soon to be visited by an alien savior from another world is going to affect Christian belief. There is a professor for the Pope's uh, uh, University in Rome, and uh, uh, he is a very highly respected intellectual. Uh, his last name is Tanzaniti. And he has written a paper now in which he is saying that very soon, not, a, not right in the beginning, we won't have to um, deny our Christian faith in the beginning. But there is information coming from another world, and once it is confirmed, it is going to require a rereading of the gospel as we know it. A rereading of the gospel as we know it. And that's the kind of information that we are receiving from the highest levels of Vatican intelligentsia. Where's this headed? In your opinion, after all this research? I think it's headed towards an imminent great deception. I think it's headed towards an imminent great deception.